Joyce. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How about you? Doing well. Yes. I am um, still teaching from Zoom tonight, even though I'm at Centered Spirit. <clears throat> so you didn't go to Colorado? Ended up not going to Colorado. It just didn't, it wasn't fitting. So I think I might try to go when it's a little warmer out in the spring sometime. That might be a good idea. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's chilly here. I can't imagine. It's not too bad here, actually. It's been okay. I so, have my yoga buddy here. Oh, good. Hi, Luther. Good to see you guys. So how have you been? Did you have some stuff you were doing this weekend, did you say? Saturday? We were... Yeah, we, we make ravioli for uh -huh. Christmas dinner. Oh, from good. Scratch. That's right. And it's, it used to be back when I was a kid for the extended family, it was a whole day deal. Oh, yeah. It's like four of us doing making food for 10, and it, it's just a couple of hours. So it, yeah, it goes quickly, and it's, it's a lot of fun. I bet. And her two daughters. And, Mm -hmm. They're they're in college. One of them's about to graduate, and we've been doing it since we, when we my niece came up to me and said, "Your grandma's not going to be with us forever. We need to learn this." Aww. And yes. so, and and we we learned it, and now there are just the four of us because my mom passed away several years ago. But it's we've got the tradition going, and it's it's a fun event now. It's not doesn't seem like work anymore so <laughs> that's something to look forward to that's amazing yeah uh, so we make ravioli all morning and then of course we must test them to make sure they're good <laughs> so we'll ravioli for lunch and yeah. christmas dinner is going to be great this year <laughs> oh that's so exciting yay i'm so glad for you where do you where do you do that where did you do that we're doing it now at my niece's house Oh, okay. And she has a big freezer, so we get them put together and pop them in the freezer, and perfect. Then to go on Christmas morning. Oh, that'll be so nice! What a fun tradition to start and teach and pass on. You know, that's so awesome. Good. How are you doing? Hi, mom. Hi, Kathy. Hi. How's it going? Good. Good. Awesome. Please. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta get it right. That's right. Wonderful. Kathy, how was the clinic? Was the clinic on Saturday? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were packed. I bet. Oh, yeah. I bet you saw it all. <laughs> saw a lot. We, we tested a few for COVID. None of mine were positive. So it was all, <laughs> all these other viruses and bacteria that did not take a holiday just because we have COVID. <laughs> Right. I know. Yeah. I've, I've heard of a lot of people having some upper respiratory situation happening. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yay. That's, you know, that crazy wind day we had, like, was that last week? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Last wind, yeah. That stirred so much stuff up. I don't know. I was for a couple of days, like, Oh, I just felt like it was just my sinuses were swollen. Yeah. But I got through it. It was okay. Well, good. Well, here we are. 
doing restorative. I'm here at Centered Spirit. I was telling Joyce I ended up not going on my um, horse adventure, but hoping to do that more when it's a little bit warmer out and things are a little calmer around here. So um, that will be nice. But this will be a nice class. Um, we'll need bolsters and blocks and all of the good juicy things. Is there anything? Is there anything in the restorative class that you guys uh, would like to see more of or less of? Or is it doing pretty well for you? That's for great. Good. That's great. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, very good. Okay. Well, let's get rolling then. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on. And let's find an easy seated place on our mats. Lila's. Oh, darn it. Lila. My puppy dog. What a sweetie pie. Oh, she's getting scratches virtually. <laughs> How cute. And Luther at the same time. I can't take it. It's okay. Looks like in that way. Wow. Okay. Find your sit bones. Let's go ahead and settle in on our mats. Close down the eyes. Tuck the chin just a teeny tiny bit. <laughs> you could be cat free for a second. And just start with the breath in through the nose. Bring it all the way down to the belly. Open your mouth for a piece. Continue with this deep cleansing breath. And as you breathe down to the base of your belly, tighten your sit bones just a little bit. And then release your breath. All the way down to the lungs. Working on our pranayama, breathing in life energy, breathing out anything not supporting our lives. Release fear, uncertainty, anything that might be at the top of your head with each exhale tonight. And then take your breath, let it just be gentle in and out of the nose. Just take the hands over the heart center, breathing in gratitude, breathing out space and light, making room for all that joy and goodness we can have in our bodies. Letting go of anything we need to let go of tonight on the mat. Might be something you've been carrying with you today at work or Let it go in your breath. Put your awareness into your heart center. Let's create space in these hearts. Sometimes it can get kind of heavy. Releasing anything that's holding us down or keeping us back. Where our heart knows that we need to go. Take your awareness inside your body. Let's do a quick body scan from the top of the head all the way down the spine. Let the shoulders fall heavy. Let the arms go. Hands can just fall on the knees. With each exhale, let the shoulders fall deeper. Relax the area around the eyes. Release the jaw. inside your body. On your exhale, let your chin fall to your chest all the way. And take your gaze up, let the head fall back. Open the throat. Make the shoulders come back about an inch. Breathe it back to center, let the head fall to the right. Take this deeper with the left arm. Find your back. If you 
would like to or stay where you are. Your body to whatever comfortable edge you feel most comfortable with. Roll the head down and through over to the left. Take it deeper if you choose. And bring it back to center. Let's take the arms wide, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, come to the fingertips, let the head fall and release the neck and shoulders here. We're going to do a little sway. Focus some on your breath. And continually scanning the body, especially in the beginning of our practice. And walk your fingertips over to the right, release that left side body in the head. And inhale through the center over to the left, release the neck and shoulders. Walk it back to center, walk it all the way up, plant the hands behind the back. Open the chest here, pushing the chest more than up, and the head is going to fall back. And bring it back to center. Let's switch the feet out. Do a quick spinal twist and we'll get down on the ground. Inhale the spine long. Exhale, twist over the right shoulder. Nice and gently. Breathe through. And take your, take your toes deeper with each exhale. Center over the left shoulder. Softening and bring it back to center. One more thing before we go. Let's do some big circles. Like to do these because they move our spine in all types of directions. Let's go the opposite direction. And bring it back to center. Take it, we're going to take it to hero's pose. If you'd like to use a block underneath your sit bones, that's fine, or a bolster. We're going to sit down, sit back on the heels. So my bolster, this round one, works kind of perfectly for this. And a block is really nice too, because it's a good height for your legs and your pelvis. But you can just let rest the hands on your on your legs, and we're going to take one deep cleansing breath in through the nose, out of the mouth. In your next inhale, take the arms wide, reach up to Temple Mudra. We're going to crawl over to the right. Do your best to keep that left shoulder up and back. Breathe into the left side body. And inhale through the center, take it over to the left. Keeping that chest open and breathe. And bring it back to center, bring the hands all the way down to the heart. Very good. And let's do some alternate nostril breathing. Let's start with our pointer finger right in the middle. Actually, pointer finger and middle finger right in the middle of the forehead. Plug with the right thumb over the right nostril, breathe in through the left. Plug the left, breathe out the right. And 
keep going with the flow of your breath. Aligning the sides of our nose, our lungs. And as you breathe in, breathe a full belly of air. And breathe it all the way out. This calms our nervous system as well as realigns us. And four on each side. All right, go ahead and bring it forward. Remove the bolster. Let's find our hands and knees for right now. We'll get that in a minute and take it into some cat cows. That belly drop on your inhale, exhale, round it all the way down. And continue flowing with your breath. Do one more full round. And take the big toes together, knees go wide. Bring the bolster in right to where you can cuddle it with your right cheek down. Let your arms fall heavy, shoulders are heavy. Release the jaw. We're going to release our breath as this goes into the nose, out through the mouth. Let yourself just settle in. Letting go with each exhale. Surrendering everything you have. The mat and the bolster. When you're ready, lift your head and rest your left cheek down. We'll be here for several breaths. Thank you. 
starts to go down between the shoulder blades. in our breath, plant that left hand down, push yourself up, and let's take it to the other side. And as we're here, finding that place for the shoulder where it feels supported and not too overstretched. To me, sometimes when it's overhead, it feels a little bit strange. And when you're ready, just find your place. Close down the eyes. Take it in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Letting everything go. Realizing that control is an illusion. Sometimes we just have to let go and let things happen. How they should not try to get in the way. Releasing all expectations and replacing all of that with gratitude for everything that is present in our lives right now. Just like this practice. And sending gratitude to that. Thank you. 
release the jaw. Continue to soften the eyes. Letting yourself just melt deeper. Calm down, push yourself up. You set one bolster to the side and keep one at the top of our mats. We're going to go into supported pigeon. So, for supported pigeon, we will start on our knees and go ahead and find your tabletop. Start with the left leg. So, inhale, look up, lift the leg. Exhale, let's take that nose to the knee. Inhale up. Exhale, crunch. Do that two more times. And take the leg up nice and high. On your exhale, bring it into the center for half pigeon. And here we're going to find our place and bring it down to the mat, releasing our head. Release our neck, coming down to the bolster. The other thing you can do is take a block, putting it underneath, or a pillow, or a bolster, underneath that left hip. And feel the difference it makes in your support. Just something to play with. We'll be here for several breaths. So just... Breathe into the left hip. Letting go any tightness. Release yourself, holding yourself in place as much as you can. Let your pose do the work. So if you notice your shoulder being flexed or your upper back, release those places with your awareness. Sometimes we're not even aware of all of the things we carry. Just noticing them and letting them go helps soften all of it. So take the hips all the way back, bring it forward. Some big circles. Releasing anything that we just stretched out of that left hip. And bring it back to center. Let's take that left leg or right leg up, look up, inhale. Exhale, let's crunch nose to knee. Inhale up. Exhale, crunch. Two more times. And then take that leg up nice and high. When you're ready, float it through to the mat. And again, you can support that right hip. If you want, bring it down to your bolster and release your breath. Go 
hold here for several breaths. So if you have to come out of your pose and go back in, that's always totally fine. Notice your shoulders. Let go of anything you still put in your And spread the palm, the fingers out, push away. We're going to round it down just a little bit. This is always an option. Everything is always an option. If this does not feel good to you, please don't do it. Uh, but you should feel it down the whole right side of the spine, from the right side body to the hip, from the left. One more breath and bring it up. Let's flip sides, taking it to the other side. And when you're ready, bring it down, releasing and breathing. Thank you. 
Then you need to release to the mat. Take both knees together, let them fall over to the left. That's support. Palms up or turn them down. Just notice that rotation of the shoulder as you do that. Really better.
back to neutral and let's flip over taking it into supported child pose but just the forehead supported so keep the knees wide big toes together release the forehead so i think talked about this before that you want to release your forehead into the bolster but keep your chin tucked a little bit so your spine is still alive and come back down to a reclined pose. Bring it all the way down. Let's take our knees into our chest. Give yourself a big hug. And we're going to take it around to a circle. And take it the opposite direction. When you're ready, extend those arms out. Let's take it in a reclined Spinal twist. Inhale, lengthen that spine. Exhale, release it over the right. Let your shoulders fall heavy. Let your arms just mush in. Mush in. I don't know how to say that. Center over to the right. Release over the left. Your pose doorward. Back to center, give yourself a big hug again and just roll it back and forth. All right, when you're ready, take the feet down, grab a bolster, and we're going to take it underneath the hips for supported bridge. Make sure you're squared up. And release everything down. Whew. 
Release the breath. Take your awareness into the lower chakras, our root, sacral, and solar plexus. Massage out the back with that little roll. Feel the openness and freeness of this pose. And when you're ready, bring it to Happy Buddha. Just sit here for a second. Scan our bodies from top to bottom. Notice any places you might still need to work out or need attention before we go into Shavasana.
you're ready, go ahead and extend the legs long. And we're going to start here with our breath, doing a clenching, full body clenching breath. So let's start it with, go ahead and get your props together if you need blankets or anything else. We're going to start by breathing into the base of the belly. But when you breathe in, I want you to tighten everything that you have, your fists all the way down to your toes, your face. Tighten it nice and tight. When you're ready, open your mouth, release out all of that tension, release your arms, release your legs, let all that tightness go. And let's do that one more time, this time taking your tightness even a little bit further, a little bit deeper on your inhale. And when you're ready, open the mouth, release, let the feet fall open, arms fall heavy. Take this time to restore and renew your body.
ladies, the lightning season honors the light in each and every one of you and on this day. Well, I guess Merry Christmas. I'm not going to see you. I probably won't see you on Christmas Day, but have a wonderful holiday, guys. And I will see you again soon. Bye. See ya.